Here we go again. Here we go again. Is it going to actually work tonight? Is it? Yeah, man. Are we here? I see movement. Okay, I'm under this. There it goes. This says we're live. Well, welcome to the Mary Boozers channel. If anybody's here yet, uh, we're just getting kicking here. Uh, the camera looks out of focus. There it goes. It focused. And we've already got guys in. What's up, right. guys? Let's see. Can I sit? Yeah, yeah that's okay, fine. Right. Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Mary Boozers channel. It looks like it actually started without a hitch. We didn't do the pre-game show we've been doing lately. We've had some issues with it until we get it perfect down. We're not going to do that for a little bit. Um, but welcome all that have come. We decided to set some of the girls out for you tonight. We're going to go over a couple airplanes tonight, go over some of the new shirt designs coming out. We've made some of the girls that weren't safe for work safe for work by putting them some pasties on tonight. <laughs> yep. Well, what, what, what Papa wanted to do is show you what will be upcoming possibly in the future. It takes, of course, Papa has to do the art. Then Lori has to do her thing, and it takes more time for Lori to do her thing than it does Papa. But we do have uh, the, we're gonna, I guess we call them the Boozer Girls. The Boozer Papa girls, girls, Papa Girls, we Papa don't know boobs, yet. Whatever. This is Papa Boobs right here uh, now. <laughs> but uh, there's, there's actually three girls up on the t-shirt store at this present moment, and these are to follow. Uh, and I make random nearly every day. Yeah, he's been cranking them out uh, left and right. Uh, he's getting ready to go on a trip yeah, here uh, in a, about a month, and he's going to be gone for a while. Right after Joe Nall, he's going to be leaving to go up to Maine on a big RV trip. So he's getting a bunch of stuff done. So me and Lori will have plenty to do over the coming months, getting all shirts still. And by me and Lori, ma mainly Lori doing all yeah, the shirt Lori, stuff. She really has but, been a, uh, uh, working I, hard on that. I, uh, I I first started with just kind of like thinking about nose art. So I wasn't involved with any particular girl, just something that looked like a nice looking woman. Okay. And then one developed in the other. What, what I've done here lately is the famous women here. Uh, this being Betty Grable, this R being Barry Fawcett. Quick. We got a question. Eric, um, I'm going to let you know, yes, we are going to bring the leather patches to Joe Nall. We might, we have a workout prices there. We haven't decided what everything's going to cost. But, oh, no, they're falling down. But we, uh, we're we going to bring a lot of the patches to Joe Nall, and if somebody wants to buy one, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring them. We'll bring them, though, and we'll have patches there. If you guys are wanting to buy them at Joe Nall, yeah. there. All of these patches would actually be sewn on an A2. If the, these go. particular patches, which I won't touch it anymore, but all these are leather, okay? The, the originals are leather. So uh, along with the squadron patches, which I've got tons of those, too. And but I've been on a roll with the, with the girls here yeah. lately because of I thought there might be I'm trying to do everything that I can for your interest, guys, is what I'm trying to do. So anyway, but uh, what I was going to tell you that these right here are what I started trying to do is imitate the famous women. Like uh, this one here is Jane Mansfield. If anybody is old enough to remember, this one is uh, Betty Grable. Most popular pinup in World War II was that one. Here, I'm going to go around there so I can hold them up to the camera. Sarah right Fawcett here. is this one. This uh, one here is Barbara Streisand and Marilyn Monroe. Is, trick is. Is the... Uh, I'm not covering the light up. Hang on. Okay, hang on, guys. We're going to try and figure out how to get them up here to you. So, so that, We'll that's... just start with the racy ones. Why not? This one's called Who Done It? Yeah, I just did that one today. <laughs> that is actually a nose art off of World War II bomber, actually. We had to censor her for YouTube sites. Let's see. The lucky lady, once again, censored for YouTube sites. Can we see it? Does it look good? Yep. Too close you get to We'll get them up close. Now, here. we are planning on also, we've been asked for stickers of the girls. 
As I put them up on t-shirts, I'll be making them into stickers now. Yeah, well, we were all actually thinking about taking some stickers to Joe Nall for these 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 things. So I, I Wesley's going to check into that. I don't know if we can get them done by that time or not. Yeah, we're we're working on trying to find somebody to make these stickers for us for a reasonable price, and we're kind of wanting to make sure that our artwork. You know, we don't have copyright to the stuff. We don't want our artwork being stolen. This one's actually one of my favorites right here, guys. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. I'm kind of far away from the microphone holding these. And every one of these girls have a name. Uh, like yeah, the, he's been naming them also. No, that uh, this one, one has one. A, That's a new one, or an older one. Yeah, that's uh, This one. one's Rhonda. He's naming them. So when Lori goes on, if you've been going through our uh, store, they actually have some funny be. backstories. This one's kind of fun, too. He did this one's a girl with the boozer. She's Lord. definitely a boozer girl. That's yeah. definitely a boozer She's girl. She's with the boozer back here. I, you know, sometimes I put clothes on. Sometimes this one cracked me up. This is Barbara Streisand, everybody. Is it in frame? Yeah. I hope you can tell by my artwork that's Barbara, but who knows? It's hard. I mean, it, it's this <laughs> one's Marilyn Monroe. Barry Greeter says he wants them all, and Jeff Custom RC agrees. Well, guys, we're, we're just trying to make sure that when we do this, we don't break any rules with any of the other websites about putting girls up and then getting in trouble. Um, Feeling some Dolly. Everybody loves Dolly. 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 Everybody always wanted to see Dolly. Unfortunately, her best parts are covered right now. It says, hello, Dolly. Pardon me. Da -da mm. This one's great. we gotta have, we got to represent everybody. we got our plus size. Yeah, plus size women. I especially like the girls that's riding bombs. Yeah, this one I really like too. You did a good job on the face on this one. Faces are the hardest things to draw. You guys. know, when we do them on the, the shirts, guys, we'll cut the gray part out, and that'll just be the color of your shirt, of course, and it'll say Mary. Yeah, Mary unfortunately, Mary. when you digitize them, you don't get the colorization that I'm doing with the paint, okay? I'm trying to get as close as possible. I mean, it's kind of just. How's my a, shirt look, man? Turn around and show them this close up of an actual t shirt here. Yeah, and you can. Bend okay. down. down. There it is. Does that look good? There's actually one of our t-shirts, too, if you wanted to see one up close. <clears throat> anyway, guys, we just wanted to start here tonight. Is there, if there's any, there's another one you probably haven't seen. There you go. They asked, are you freehandling these? It's so wild. Yeah, he is freehanding everything. Well, to a certain extent, yes. I, I, I... This one's pretty good, too. Holding the RC logo. Is it focusing okay on all this? Yeah, yeah, it's, okay. it, it like jumps right on. Here's my favorite. I kind of like this one. This is my favorite. I like her. So, funny enough, this one's kind of gross for the Wesley, but this one's named Teresa Fay, which is my grandmother's name, his mother. <laughs> Maybe when she was younger. You know, you I just Maybe grab when a name. When, when I'm painting them, it comes to me. They're all loving Okay. It. How about how about the did we see the upstairs this maid? This one's done, right, Lori? The maid. No, she have this no one she's not done. Upstairs I she maid. I was working on this upstairs maid. I'm working on her. I'm working on a few more. Actually. Yeah. But it anyway, guys, time. it just takes time. Didn't yep. you get this one on there now? I think you no. got this one. Didn't you? I think she's currently working on the seventh Air Force girl right now. She's in the works, yeah. I like this one. I think I showed that one. No, so did you, I don't know. Did I show this one already, guys? That's called Penny from Heaven. And he puts it on the back, Penny from Heaven. So. It just comes to me. I don't know how it is. I like the girls with the bombs in the yeah. red, white, and blue. They, they really catch your eye. But anyway, then uh, everybody knows. This Betty one's Boo. actually up on the store right now. No, this one, no, no, no. There's this another Betty, Betty. Version of Betty. There's there's two Bettys. Never mind. Yeah. There's two Bettys. This one's oh. not up there yet. Oh, see if they know who this is. Anybody remember Star Trek from? Just Blair? custom RC. We do plan on doing a shirt with all of them. Yes, it just takes us time to digital digitally redo these. That's actually Ahura from the old Star Trek. Hopefully, somebody will recognize uh, that. Ahura eh? from the old Star, Star Trek. Trek back and in we the sixties. Up on the store right now. Uh huh. They're hitting slowly, guys, but we're just trying to give you all the, the, the 
Boy, well, gone. this so this the, is the a preview of, to come. of just what to come time. if you like the girls. And I'm still going to do a few more girls. Uh, I think I got about six or seven, and Lori says that's enough. Yeah. Uh, so about I, I've got a, like I'm going to do some Pretty more famous people. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm going to do more famous people. I've got all of the uh, old Charlie's Angels, <clears> like <throat> the Kate Jackson and the. Uh, Oh, uh, I forgot them all, but everybody knows. But I'm gonna do all the Charlie's Angels, the old ones, not the new ones. We also have some new patches. So there's the wasps, women in what was it? Wasp, women, women, Air Force Service yeah. pilots, women's Air Force Service pilots. There you go, the wasps, Fifa Nina or good. some Fifa Nella or whatever her name is. Sorry to take up some more yep. space. Yep. So let's see, PD2. Yep. Everybody loves Petey. Never like everybody likes Petey. That would be your uh and Barry Barry Greer recognized Ahura. Oh did he? Okay, good. I'm glad he recognized her. So. Hey wait, let's let's play a game here, guys. Can you guess what this one is? What patch that what belongs to? What squadron do you think this one goes it's to? It's a guys? very famous one. Let's Extremely put it. Extremely famous. Way. I'll tell you this, their airplanes had a red tail. <laughs> that should be enough hint for somebody in here to guess. Anybody? Anybody got a guess? Nobody's throwing anything out yet. Can y'all hear give me? It, give it just a second. Here, let me get up here. So if you can have a guess, this squadron flew an airplane with a red tail. Can you guess the I name of the squadron? Nope, not the Flying Tiger. Not, not the, the Flying tiger. tiger. There we go. Tuskegee yes, Tuskegee 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 Airman. Got it. That's, That's right. Tuskegee Airmen Squadron. Originally, it was called the 99th Pursuit Squadron. It it's it. the 99th uh, Fighter Squadron, which was the Red Tails or the Tuskegee Airmen. Airman. Airman. No. Which we'll have that up pretty right soon. Now. Hopefully, oh, Lori will get this one. We're, that's a good example of what we're trying to bring you guys. Remember, we told you we're trying to give you things that go with certain airplanes or, or certain uh, uh, squadrons that you might be interested in. So this is something like what we're doing here. There's another one. Oh, lucky. No, oh, yeah, Lucky Strikes up on the This one's up on the shirt store now. If anybody likes the little Indian with the eight ball, he is actually up on the shirt store already. And that's all Lucky. Lucky Strikes is already up on there too. So, uh, all right. one of the things that we've asked you to do, and I'm going to repeat this, is we're going to give away two t-shirts when we get to 500 subscribers right. where we're only 50 away now, now. I ordered the giveaway plane today, so hopefully it gets here this week. What I'm probably going to do is once the airplane's here, we'll open it for you guys. We'll paint it on the show. We're going to sign it, put one of our stickers on it or inside of it, not really on it. We're going to probably keep it on the inside. So if one of you wants to have one that's pristine, you can. <laughs> Um, we're going to rivet it, paint it, everything, pimp it out. We're probably not going to fly it just in case we accidentally oops it. I don't want to crash your new airplane. So we're going to take it apart, show you guys the airplane on the channel, rivet it, paint it, and then we're going to box it back up and give it away to one of you at 500. Um, what I'm going to do is have a video right before we do the actual giveaway where you'll be able to click on, leave a like, and leave a comment, you know, and, and we're going to have – um, we've got two shirts kind of that we're thinking about, but what I think I'm going to do is when the actual video comes out, part of your entry will be, I want this shirt kind of thing or whatever. And you know, whoever has the most likes or comments that they want the shirt, I don't know. We're going to try and figure all that well, what out. What we on said the... last week was that we wanted them to go into our Teespring. Right. Uh, and we had five or six of you guys go in and do it. And, and thank you very much. We're going to do this until we get to where I, we get to the 500 subscribers and we'll go in. Uh, we'll pick the people. We we, we got to find out what size of shirt you wear, guys. So we, we can't. We're going to direct ship the shirts so, from Teespring. But, and but, I'll probably pay the extra so you get it faster than a month or whatever it is. Yeah. If you don't know, when you go to check out on Teespring, if you don't pay the $3 extra for exp expedited shipping, you're going to wait a month. I ordered some shirts over a month ago from our store to get. I mean, it takes a long time. But if you pay month. the extra $3, they print immediately, and you get them in about five days. Jeff will tell you. Jeff's RC that's in here, He's he's got them from there. So yeah. anyway, 
Well, but, let's clear this off and go to our next yep, that, thing. We're going to actually switch subjects, the, guys. Uh, the patches. Give so us a second here. We're going to pick up the patches. What's going on there? And we are going to switch subjects on you tonight. Sorry for the dead air. Yep, what yep. we're going to be talking about tonight is what's a good God, a lot <laughs> uh, yeah what's a good first warbird um, guys that are going from a trainer into a warbird what airplane would we recommend from the boozers and if you want to take all the tape off and so it doesn't hurt That's them fine, and we're do it. just pull the box out yep. and we'll throw the tape back out anybody that caught the live show last night over on uh, Pilot Ryan we've got our arrows RC's yep love them Yep, love them. I've got the F8 Bearcat, and it is a for the size and what it does, it's great. So we've got two choices here tonight, guys, and hopefully we can figure a way to fit these on the table together. Maybe something sort of, kind of. How about this? There you go. They're on there. They're on there. Pretty close. I think I can actually get mine up there. So... This is what we wanted to talk about, is what is the first warbird to go to after you've already done the trainer scene? You, you've gotten comfortable, you're flying a four-channel airplane with no problem, and you're looking for something with retracts and, yeah, and flaps. Flying, but, yeah, you're flying an airplane that has all the throws, you know, yep. elevator, rudder, uh, ailerons, the whole, uh, the whole smear, maybe not retracts, but you've got all the control surfaces right. of a normal airplane. Yeah, you've and already you, gotten past that. Mas mastered yeah, that. a lot of guys, for your first airplane that haven't been talking to me, I really do like the E-Flight Valiant. It's a great airplane. It can fly slow. It can fly really fast. I, I That's what Lori has started with, and she's really been liking that. But we're, we're talking about the guy tonight that's already done that part. He started to learn to fly. He's not crashing as much stuff. And, hey, man, I want something cool. I want a Warbird, and I don't want to spend a ton of money on batteries. And I want something that most guys have started out with an airplane that flies a 2200 three cell. So they already have it. Um, and I really don't want to fight. I want to, I want to learn how to either take off a tail dragger or I don't want to really go to the tail, tail dragger yet, yeah. but I want a war bear. First. So we got the two things. There. We've been, we've been kind of back and forth on this, on what the first warbird everybody should get is. And, and my choice is the E-Flight P-47 right now. Um, I haven't flown a bad P-47. Guys that know me know that I love P-47s. You know, the, the Jug can be an uglier airplane to some people, but I've grown to love this shape flying in the air. And and Dad's pick is the, the uh, little 1,200-millimeter T-28 from E-Flight. Um, he has flown and flown and flown that little airplane. And uh, it's been really good to him. You can't. You can't ask for a more, it can bite you, but it's so, if you bring the power off, it's easy to take off since it's tricycle. It, you, it's not as much of a, you, you're not really thinking about rudder. You're thinking about driving it down the runway, guys. So you're actually using the rudder, but you, if, if a, a new guy, he's always thinking about driving it. So that takes the, the rudder situation out of a tail dragger. So it's, it's easier to take off. It's more forgiving when it lands. Uh, if you stick it in the nose, you're going to hit the landing gear on front first. Instead of the nose. Instead of the nose. Now, it, if you off. hit it too hard, you're going to break, gonna it, break it, but, but it's going to save you. If you take that, if you haven't got that timing yet of on your flare, but if you get the flare on this airplane, it'll come in and, and, and have about this attitude and then just sit down on the nose gear. So it's really, uh, you know, and, and it lacks flaps. It doesn't take a lot of uh, mixing as far as down in the elevator, mm -hmm. as far as the uh, mixing of the You know, the other cool thing flaps. about these two airplane guys is they'll fly 2200s. Yeah. They'll fly 3000s. I've flown this one on a 4,000. I'm fairly sure that would have a 4,000 fit in it, no problem. And I changed um, the ESC. From, um, uh, both of these have a 50 amp ESC yeah. in them now. Now, I will say that Horizon Hobby has actually came out and say that this airplane is rated for four cell with the stocks uh, speed controller now. Um, 
for my preference, the it gets a little hot with that 40 amp in there. It will fly on it. I've done it. Um, but I would definitely let it cool 10 or 15 minutes between flights if you're going to leave the stock speed controller in it and fly 4S. And I would not fly over half throttle for very long. Uh, but at half throttle, it flies about like it did on uh, 3S at full throttle. So um, I'm just saying, if you're going to fly 4S all the time, switch the speed control, go to a 50 amp, it, it, and you'll enjoy this airplane a lot. Uh, same I'm thing with say, this one. I'm yeah. going to say this one. I was always very happy with the 3 cell right. 2200. You yep. got five minutes, and it was not a dog. I nope. mean, it was not a dog on the 3 cell 2200. So the only reason I changed it to uh, 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 50 ESC is when the original receiver went bad. I thought, what the heck? I'm, I've right. got one, so I changed it out. Right. That way I can use, you know, it, the only reason I did it is I could use more batteries. I had like five or six 2200s, and then I had, what, three, three cell, thousand, oh, three, and 30, stuff, yeah. I, I think I and had same thing 30, with me is I, I bought the uh, FMSB 25, and then I bought the 3000 yeah, milliamps yeah, that, to fit yeah, in it, yeah, and then I wanted something else to fly them in, so I started putting yeah. them in. Right, and they, and, and they it, fit them great, and they don't they don't care about the weight. Yeah, and the CG is kind of forgiving on both of these yeah, airplanes, yeah. also, because yeah, I never move the battery. I leave it right in the same place, all the way forward in the nose, strap it down, even whether it's a four thousand, a twenty two hundred, whatever it is. It doesn't seem to care yeah, where I put the battery. This one either. I mean, you don't want to put it at the back of the no. airplane, but as long as it's up in the nose, it seems to be fine. I'll say with a four thousand in it, it penetrates in wind a lot better. This one. Um, I can't say for the T28, I haven't flown it near as much, but I know he has flown a ton with it. You know, I've never broke the prop. Yeah, that, both airplanes still have the original props on them. The neat thing on the P47 and, is it. And if, we actually did a video on this plane, and I was having a trouble with Yeah, he had to retract. land it with the front retract up, and it slid and, across and, the and, ground. And that's the, that's the same propeller that it landed on and slid in, yep. but of course it was, but um, I didn't break it. The other cool thing is if you start getting some of the other airplanes, some of the parts are interchangeable on these 1200 millimeters. The P4 or the T28 is not the same way, but if you get the e, the uh, P47, the P51, or the Corsair, they all use the same prop. So you only have to have one size extra prop for all three of those airplanes. Now, another thing I always think about is a lot of beginners are the people that they want to see them. The paint scheme has always been a, a debatable subject, but I can't think of any better paint scheme. You put this orange out on both of these wings and the orange tail, you know where it's at or what attitude it's at with this paint scheme. If you take the gray, then it's a little, you're looking more at a silhouette out there, but. Uh, I don't know, with the P47, I think it's got the, the invasion stripes on the bottom of this, kind of set it off where you can really tell up from down too. Because if you look, the bottom of the silver the uh, and then silver on the top. The only sorry. time that white disappears to me is when you have those thunder clouds that have the gray bottoms in them, then white disappears. Other than that, in a blue sky, the white to me and the orange show up real well. Uh, so, you know, it's to each your own as far as color, but orange, you can't get any brighter than orange. Yeah. Now, I will say I wasn't a huge fan of the Kansas Tornado, and I know a lot of people weren't. I love all the colors on this airplane, but I don't like the nose art on this airplane. Sorry, Dad. The the Mr. Hankey Tornado on the front. Um, but what I thought about doing is trying to get this off without damaging the airplane and then try and get, if we get Ooh, the, the Boozer girls going and making a new paint job for this airplane, because I actually like the whole rest of the paint job other than the nose art. Um which I'm sure it meant a lot to the guy in in World War II. It just didn't what is he mean much to me. About this? Yeah. I'm watching along slowly. Is there any questions you've seen go along, Laurie? Does anybody agree? Do they disagree? Do you have any other? Um, I, I've seen a lot of guys agreeing that the T28 is great, P47 is great. I've heard a lot of guys saying that. I tell you what, guys, I've got the both the E flight T28s, the this one, and, and the, the carbon, carbon Z. Z, and you break you. Master this little bugger right here, find you a Carbon Z because if you like this one. Yeah, if you like that, we'll get the Carbon Z. The Carbon, carbon Z, Z is amazing. Right. If you can find one, oh, airplane. 
I mean, it's just a pussy cat. I mean, it's this big old thing, but it is just a the easiest airplane in the world to fly to me. I mean, it's just a great plane. Joe Smith, yes, you can fly these both on a DX6. You only need six channels. Laura, you said you got another question? Less of a question, more of a helpful hint. Jessica Samarcy says take off the Mr. Hanky with packing tape. Uh, you might be able to get him off with packing tape. Um, it's, it looks like it's not a water transfer though. It looks like it's a sticker. It might work. Um, we'll see. I, I might try it and if I can get it off, awesome. If not, I may just leave it. I mean, the airplane does look really good like it is. And I just fly this one so much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. And we're already repainting so many other airplanes right now. So little hint, dad has actually taken, if you didn't catch it last night, he took the uh, big uh, free, A-10 free wing A10. to his house. And he's been filming over at his house. So we're going to see how good he is at filming um, a repaint on the A-10. We're doing the 100 year anniversary of the 107th. Fighter, fighter wing, wing so of, you've seen it guys it's, it's got, got the, the invasion the stripes and the big red devil down the side and i mean it looks really great i got to see it today he's got all the green done he's putting some of the stickers on and painting the invasion stripes right now and i mean it's going to be impressive we're going to definitely be bringing that one to null we're going to dot it we're going to put a little bit of we might put a little weather on it it's not going to have a lot on it because it's supposed to be more of a pristine airplane anyway yeah. Um, but we might do maybe some leaks around the fuel tanks and stuff on I it. I think that was a hundred years in 16 or 17. It's been out some time. So, I mean, it's a little bit over that, but uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, something that was kind of easy for me to do. I didn't have to have multiple paint, didn't have to do a lot of, uh, striping, but I did find a tape that works. Now you guys, Always are wanting about uh, uh, wondering about how to strap this off without the foam peeling up. I found it, and I'll show you that on that uh, video of what I'm using, and you won't believe what I found. But uh, look for that video on that A10. I should be doing that. Uh, won't be next week. Uh, it'll probably be the uh, around the first of May. When we release that video on that A10. Yeah, we, we're still but working I, on it. No, the videos aren't up. Somebody was just asking. That but, one hasn't made it up yet. But I have taken that all the way from where I stripped the insignias off of it to sanding it to filling in what I used to fill in the dinks because it was not a new airplane. It was, it yeah. was a used yep. airplane. Yep. So I had some dings and things in there so i showed and i should have done that idea. i should have done that on the uh, flex jet when i did it and i didn't and but now that the flex jet's broken and i have to fix it i will probably go back and fill all that and fix it now did we upgrade the gears on the a10 well we will be we are probably going to do a video on it and they're sitting here somewhere yes we will upgrade the main gear there they are the, 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 the. yeah we got them uh, sorry. To answer the question shortly here. Yes, we know that there we have a balance problem. There they are. So, yes. There's the, one. The, and these are the oleo struts that go straight down instead of the, the ones that flex back and come back. There's actually the three back. of them. Nose landing gear. So, I guess we're going to replace Landing gear strut. All. Yeah, we got all of them. So, and they are the suspensions, not the trailing links. Yeah, yeah. So, we're going to fix that problem. We were asked, how did you guys remove the bits or crushed stones? Um, you can use. Uh, the, did you got that stuff? I have it sitting somewhere around us right now. I it's don't know. It's called Hobby Light. Uh, it's down there. Well, here's this. You took the Hobby Light to your house. No, it's a spackle, basically. He has the hobby stuff at his house. No, I don't. I, I, no, I didn't either. I've got. I got the stuff from the Home Depot. Oh uh, well, I have the actual. Airplane one, two. It's called lightweight spackling. But is yeah, what I used drywall spackle tape. Lightweight. It's called lightweight. Um, you can't actually tell probably right now, yeah, but the I've, whole front of this cowling's been knocked yeah, off right here too and ground off. I've, I've put that on there. All you got to do is, 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 you know, you use something can't. like a credit card or something that's got a, I don't know, a, a, a straight edge on it. 
you get and let it set there and then you sand it down very lightly use a light sandpaper and then repaint it if you guys saw the video of me repainting our flex jet when i was doing the canopy mod where i cut it all out and everything that's what i used to mold it back in there and if i had it in here right now i'd show you it but it's out in the garage but that's what i used to uh, build up around the canopy where I'd cut it out and then sanded it to make it the way I want it. Yeah. The one thing I did wrong on this is this is not a sandable one. Make sure when you buy one, it says sandable, sandable. and paintable. Yeah, sandable and I paintable. screwed up when I bought that one and bought the wrong one. But uh, it still worked. It's just the sandable, paintable ones look better. It says no sanding done. required. No sanding required, but you want one that's sandable. Yeah, you want one that's sandable. Uh, the there, there is a there is a some of this that's in the hobby world and i forgot what it's called yeah we a, i actually have the hobby one somewhere hobby co hobby hobby co uh, hobby co you it's, want to see something hobby else co and it's called hobby light i think i've used it i used it back in the days when i was doing balsa airplanes to get if i put a dent in the balsa then i'd use it y'all want to see something else cool look at this pilot figure our uh, friend kevin has this and wants us to try and get it in one of the airplanes, but you can either have his mask on, mask off, you can have his glasses down or glasses off, or you can take his helmet off. This is one detailed pilot. Just thought I would think that's cool. Why we're going through parts. Sorry we're all over the place tonight, guys. We're just playing. We're just know? playing. Showing you things we find. Uh, Kyle says he needs a beard. He needs a beard. Yeah. He needs a beard. We'll put him down uh, there. He can hang out with us. Um, what I was going to talk about a minute ago, sorry, um, we're all over the place tonight, but somebody was asking earlier, can a DX6 work with this? Let me tell you right now, I started with the DX6E. Now, I know mine looks crazy. I put a skin over the front of it. Um, this is an excellent first radio. If you're looking for what to get to start with, the E is great as long as you don't care about LiPo support. What I did is went to Walmart and got the rechargeable AA battery, stuck it in it, and I had rechargeable batteries because this one will not support a LiPo. I don't care who tells you it will. It will not support a LiPo. It took me fighting with customer service about that for a while, and then they found out, yes, it will not support a LiPo. So it has all the options in it like it will, but if you put one in there, you can never turn it off. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you just use the AA batteries, it works great. I've flown a ton of airplanes on this and never had an issue out of it. Um, but for either one of Horizon Hobbies, actually any of their 1200 millimeter Warbirds, you can fly with a DX6E as the minimum radio. If you have a 6I, you can still fly them with that too. I just don't know if you can do safe select on an I. Um, but anyway, whoever was asking that, that should tell you. DX6E, DX6. DX7, DX8, any of them will work with it as long as it's one of the newer Gen 2 radios. I can guarantee it works. If you have any questions about them after that, shoot me an email or uh, not an email, but come on Facebook or wherever you can find us. Send me a message and say, hey, will this work with the Spectrum one? I can answer it. I've got so many of these radio guys and I've messed with so many of them now, program them at the field. Um, you know, I'm the, the guru for everybody at the field when they come up and say, oh, hey, Wesley, I got this airplane and this radio. How do I? So I've just learned how to program 10,000 different radios now. Don't ask me anything about Fly Sky because I don't know anything about it, though. I'm just going to give you that heads up to start with. I even have a DXE, which any of you guys that know it, this is a junk radio. Don't buy this. Just saying, don't buy this. Spend, comes with spend a hundred dollars more and buy well you can buy this by itself spend a hundred dollars more and get a 6e if you're going to go on the cheaper end of the spectrum you can do 250 models with that at radio um whereas this one is 10 and you have to have a phone and an app and link it together to switch and it's oil pain in the butt spend a hundred bucks more and buy the 6e if you're going to buy one they're 149 on brian's amazon store for a 6e anyway not to talk too much. And I know there was a lot of questions on Spectrum last night. Um, I do plan on making the videos, guys. I just haven't. I've got the 12. I've got a 6i. I've got an 8. I've got a Gen 1 8. Is it hanging up there? Nope. I was going to tell you guys, I wasn't going to hold that secret away from you on that. When I was telling you about the tape that I found that you can tape 
and and it will not fill fill your tank. Or I didn't have any experience with it. I found it in the school section. It's called Scotch. It's just like regular. It's kind of like a white tape, and it says it's wallproof. But it's in the school section under Scotch tape, and it's and it's just regular Scotch tape. Let's look for that. Just regular. Uh, dispenser thing just like you're using scotch tape no not that i use this too frog tape anyway it's called wall safe and i did not get any when i put it on the airplane i did not get any pulling of the paint laura you said you got something sorry i haven't been able to watch it for a while we've been looking down it's okay um barry Bruder wants to know if you have any thoughts on the new e-flight p41 I don't know what a P-41 is, Barry Greeter, but if you're talking about the P-39, I like it. I think it's going to be awesome. The Aero Cobra, is that what you're talking about? Um, tricycle gear. Tricycle gear. It's a 1,200 millimeter. Yep. It looks, looks like it's going to be. 1,200 millimeter Warbirds from E-Flight you can't go wrong with. I have not flown a bad one yet. You know, they all are great. AS-3X is a magic thing, and anybody that says it's a hindrance is, I don't care what they're saying. It's not. AS3X is one of the best inventions I ever made for foam airplanes. If it comes programmed with it. If it comes time. programmed with it and stuff. If you're adding it in, it's a royal pain in the ass. Just I'd go, if I was going to put a gyro in. If you're going to add a gyro time. in and not buy. If you're going to buy a Horizon Navi airplane and you have Spectrum, buy it, bind and fly. There is no reason not to. For $20 more usually. You're getting an $80 receiver programmed to it with all the gains and everything set up perfectly. I don't know why anybody does not get that unless they fly something different. I completely understand if you fly Tactic or Fataba or whoever. Sure, I understand it. But if you have a Spectrum radio, buy it with the receiver, guys. Because if you try and add it in later, it's a royal pain uh, in the butt. Well, the biggest problem is you have to get online. And you got to have the and app. Gotta, and you got to have the special cable. Uh, I've got it somewhere. Special I cable it forever. and all this other stuff. If you're adding a gyro, add it with the Hobby Eagle. It takes you 30 minutes. If you watch our video and follow it I mean, through, it's easy. I mean, it's easy peasy, guys. If I can do it, anybody can. Right. I mean, I, on this stuff. So I, I thoroughly agree. I mean, but my, my thing on that, though, I hear guys all the time, they're like, gyros, you know, learn to fly and all that. Gyro doesn't make you a good pilot or not. I guarantee you, you take somebody that can't fly without a gyro and you give him a gyro, he still can't fly. fly yeah, if you're using safe, yeah. But, you know, safe is a wonderful thing, too. Uh, if, if that would have been out when I was learning, I would have never crashed an airplane. I mean, the gyro, all it does is all the gyro is doing is, is helping really, with the wind. Well, it takes out the real violent maneuvers. Right. I mean, coming it, in to land, it'll it, keep the it wings locked. The wings. It won't let them bobble it on. It doesn't let I you mean, do this, and it don't let you do that. And you know, it just it just calms the airplane down. Where and with it, these lightweight foam planes, they don't get tossed around. I mean, I, I'll go out there and I'll fly this P forty seven, and I'll be just having a ball with it on a real windy day, and you don't even hardly feel it. And then I'll go to something that. Uh, an old it. Corsair or something that doesn't have one, and you're like, holy crap, it's what? bumpy up there today. What's going on? And it, it hides all that stuff, and it just makes it enjoyable to fly. So anybody that's telling you you're not a real pilot if you fly, you fly with a gyro, with a gyro well, well, they're full, full of crap. Of crap. Um, they're and that's how I really feel about that. Don't listen to any of these guys in the chat room. And these, the other one I love is... is Oh, well, get that phone crap out of here. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I've done balsa. I've done it all. And it, you know what? As long as you're enjoying the hobby, don't listen to what anybody else says. Nope. Foam is great stuff. Balsa is great stuff. Here at Boozers, we do both. And I do plan on bringing y'all some balsa videos. I know it's not for everybody, but it'll be fun. But I don't discriminate. I'm, I'm for if you're flying and you're having a good time, that's all that matters to me. So... You and know, if you don't have any time to build or you don't have it, you know, I did the ball. The, the, the ball, so you got to have a setup place. I mean, you got to have all the tools. You got to have starters. And for gas, you got to have starters and, and glow plugs and, and glow plugs and, and fuelers. You know, a lot of guys starters. nowadays don't have time for that. Why? And then you stink after you yeah. come back. Yeah, we, we, we actually <laughs> flew a gas one last weekend. We came <laughs> home and I was, good Lord, mm, I'm like yeah. the smell of nitro in the morning. Yeah. But yeah, you stink like it all day, though. Yeah, 
you got but, that uh, smell. But uh, anyway, I, I still love them. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I wasn't trying to be mean there, I but I, I hate that when I'm on a, a chat room, and, and I don't ever see it in Pilot Lounge. But a lot of the other chat rooms on Facebook and stuff, you know, oh well, it's a phone play. You're not a real modeler. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I'll use. Well, I, I can't show you on YouTube, but. It starts with an F, and they can do it something to themselves. So, <laughs> anyway, Lori's got a question for us. Okay, Michael Rajka says, Wesley, if you have seven actions of state, how do you use a six-channel radio and use them all? Do you um, with safe select? No. Um, when you do safe select, you don't need another channel for safe select. Um, if you actually look in the airplane, it only actually has six channels hooked up. Safe Select is done through Witchcraft and Wizardy that I have never figured out. But when you set up Safe Select, right after you initially bind the radio, you hold both sticks inward and you flip the desired switch that you want to turn Safe Select off. So pick any two channel switch and you flip it five times. Then the uh, uh, ailerons will go like that, and that tells you that you've assigned it. And then through magic, it just turns it on and off through that. So you can through set that, that to any sign you want, and you do not need an extra channel to do that. Uh, I hear that from a lot of guys that you need seven channels. I did it on my six, so unless I've got a magic six, everybody should be able to do that. I'll double check it if you want. Um, I can do a airplane setup video with Safe, but I'm fairly sure you can do it with just a regular six channel radio. Um, because the receiver that's in it's only a six channel receiver. If you look in it, uh, let me double check. Yep, this is a six channel receiver, so it doesn't matter if you have a seven or not. It's not using a seventh channel for safe. Yes, auto level mode is what safe is, basically. Then I'm going to answer the other Yeah, And what I'm talking about with AS3X or SAFE is that you can set up that switch to where it automatically turns the gyro on or off. And you can do that with a six-channel radio. So you do not need a seventh channel to run AS3X. So any guys that have these out there that didn't know that, all you got to do on most of them, double-check with your manual, hold both sticks inward, and flip the desired switch to turn your gyro off five times. With the airplane on, of course, take the prop off, we don't want anybody losing fingers because trust me, it's easy enough when you've got these things doing something and you're not paying attention. You go to wiggle them and you actually it's fly the airplane off. across through. Take the we prop off. Never did that. We've never like, had never, an airplane start never, on us ever. Never. We have a Stuka with the nose flopped off of it one night. One day we're sitting there at the table and I'm. I had just got back from working and I had been up till like three in the morning flying home and <laughs> I get out there and I'm dog tired and everybody's Wesley, help me with this. No, help me with this. I know we had lost the bind, the on, bind it. on it and we bound it For up some reason, I don't know. and something was backwards on it all of a sudden, the elevator or yeah. something. And I went in to switch the channel and I don't know what I was thinking, but I switched the throttle <laughs> channel and that thing went Wah! and about he I grabbed it. it. And it, but it hit the metal it hit pole. It hit the metal and, pole, and it just... It just <laughs> knocked the nose off, and uh, that pretty well wound up. Well, yeah. uh, but he's got it fixed now. I actually do want to do the video on the Stuka. Yeah, I think it'd Stuka. be a lot of fun. Lori says we got another question. Uh, it's kind of concerning the same thing with the... Uh, he said, Safe. So there are seven switches on a DX6, so you can't talk throttle cut then? Let me look at it again. Hang on. A DX6 or a DX6E? What are you talking about? Which DX6 are you talking about? A standard There's DX6 an has enough switches to do it. It has the same amount of switches as an E. So DX6 Gen 2. Yeah, you, you can have enough. There's seven switches, but you've got plenty of switches. Because um, you have gear on one side. You have this empty channel on this side is where I would put it. On a DX6 Gen 2, you should have this empty switch on this side. Which says so you what? You can use safe and have a throttle cut. Mm, right. I, I don't know if you can have a throttle cut, too. I'm not going to lie. I don't use throttle cuts. I know y'all are all going to kill me for that, but I don't use throttle cuts. I'm just careful whenever I plug in a battery that either the prop's off if I'm working on it or at the field, I plug it in, I hold on to it. Um, normally, you can actually, when you plug in the battery, hold the prop, 
you can actually overpower this if it did decide to start. But be careful. Dude. But be careful. I mean, with but yeah, normally what I do when we're about to start an airplane, if I'm with somebody, I say, hey, man, I'm going to plug my airplane in, and Dad will stand there and hold it while I plug it in. We make sure everything's kosher. So if it did decide to run, it doesn't go very well. But no, I don't use throttle cut. So I can't actually answer you. I've never actually set up a throttle cut in the radio. I can sit down and figure out how to do it and tell everybody how if you want whenever I do the video about airplane radios. Um, slowly, I do want to go through and do a DX6E video, a D an IX12 video. I know a lot of guys have liked the IX12, want to look at it. Um, it's not for everybody. I will, you know, I always make the joke that I'm in love with it. It's not for everybody, guys. It, it's it's a lot to learn with the IX12 and programming it. And it got it has. If you're not a really computer savvy person, I would not recommend the IX12 to you. Because if you take it out of the box and use it as it comes, it's garbage. You have to do the updates, or it will not run worth a darn. And even with some of the updates, it still has its issues. And and I'm I like my radio a lot. Don't get me wrong. I'm a very computer savvy person, so I like it. But I could see it being a real big pain in the butt for an older guy that's like my dad that he want by God, I've done it this way forever. I want to do it this way forever. And he can stick with the DX8. Or, or if he did upgrade, I'd tell him to get a nine, nine. black because it runs exactly the same as his other radio. Guys that want a top of the line radio that don't want an IX12, buy a DX9 Black right now, and you will be in love with it. It's a phenomenal radio. It talks. It does everything this can do, basically, except it doesn't have a touchscreen. And this one, I can do custom voice commands. And, of course, this does have 12 channels, but us phone guys really don't need 12 channels. Nine is more than adequate. And, and I'm getting on the reel here. You know, I, I like to tell you guys exactly what I think. I'm not sponsored by these guys, so I'm going to tell you, this is not for everybody. I, I'll make the joke all the time that I'm in love with it, but if you're not a computer savvy person, you should not get this radio because it is going to be a pain in the butt for you. You're not going to like it. Um, if you don't do the updates, it only lasts for about a week on a battery too. If it's just sitting on the table. If you do the updates, I can get about two months out of it now. So if you see all the chat rooms that say that my IX-12 doesn't last, they haven't done the updates on it. Because once they did the update for deep sleep, I haven't turned this radio on in two weeks, charged it. It's at 80% still. You know, and it's instant on. A lot of guys say the boot times take forever. No, it doesn't if you turn it off right. You got to do quick sleep. So that's the thing about this radio. See, watch, I can turn it on now. It's instant on. And that's after two weeks of it sitting on the table. So, um, but you got to do the updates on this radio. Um, Anyway, I'm sorry. I keep going off all over the place. I know we were talking about beginner airplanes here, and now we're <laughs> off on another thing. Did I miss anything, Lori? Well, we, we, you know, that's the way me and Wes kind of do it. We kind of bounce from here to there, the here to here to there. But I mean, that's kind of the way we 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 do this. We we're always trying to think of something else you guys might want to see. Uh, we've got to keep our interest up too, because after you. I tell you what really gets me is if you're doing one of these channels every week and you're trying to do something and keep things fresh, it's tough. It is really tough to do that. Yeah, coming uh, up with something every week. And, you know, we love to be the guys that could have, oh, here's the new FMS airplane, here's this, that. We don't get sponsored by anybody, so it's our money yeah. that, you know, we if we can't do a new thing every week for you, I'm sorry about that. We're going to try as hard as we can, but we can only do what we can afford. Um the other radio that we have that I can always recommend, talking about beginner guys here, is a DX8. You can buy these secondhand for about 100 bucks. This is the DX8 Gen 2, I think, or it's a Gen 1. I can't remember. Well, I got this is, Dad one. has the exact same one. Lori, has, Lori uses this one. Love it. It's a phenomenal radio. You're going to have all the features that you could want other than it won't talk to you. Um, for us phone guys, this is all the radio you will ever need. Um, but that would be my recommendation. If you were getting into this firsthand, look for a DX8 used. Um, and you really can't go wrong. This is a great, great radio. LiPo support. I've got a LiPo battery in mind. Um, I charge it up. Lori gets about a month on it, flying, you know, every weekend or so, you know. I use double A's in mine. Instant boot time on it. 
the chargeable double A's, rechargeable. You can do rechargeables or you can do that. It's just a good, it's a great radio. Uh, I will never say anything bad about it. But, you know, when I got real serious into the hobby, I said I wanted the top of the line. The only thing over this would have been a DX20, and I wasn't going to pay $2,000 for a radio. So I bought, well, Lori bought me this for my birthday, actually, last year. So it's coming up on being a year old. I got, I actually got one of the very first IX-12s in the country when I bought mine, which was kind of neat. Now they came out in a bunch of colors, and I should have got one of my custom painted ones from the factory. But anyway... Uh, it is what it is. So the the uh, go back to the A10. After I finish the invasion stripes on it, then we'll probably bring it back over here to he here, and we'll be doing the uh, the um, we've got to do some uh, pin striping uh, with the with the uh, airbrush. We got to do some airbrushing. I'll, I'll come out with it in a minute. We got to cl clean up. Fred Barron. Stuff. Just to throw it out there, this is actually 30 model memory yeah, on 30. this one. And 30 models is a respectable amount for most people. I got 15 in my nap. But I have a 1,000 memory in this one. But I only have 75 airplanes, so it doesn't uh, matter that much. So we will be doing a uh, airbrushing on the A-10, and then we will also be doing the, the, the dirty a little bit. And that'll be on the video also. And the last thing we will do, and I don't think you're going to sit there and watch me pop a dot it, but it will be pop a dot. I, I'm hoping what we do with the A10, since we're we are going to Joe Nall, I'm not saying but we're going to we're going to try you know, try to get best to show as far as the A10 um, without being. I'm, I'm not trying to do it like I'm going to the Scale Masters, but. Uh, uh, I think if we we if we went to Jet Jam, we had the T28. We didn't repaint the T28. I popped yeah. out of it. You didn't win best of show with it. But we morning. did. We did the but, that wasn't the T28. We had the, I mean the uh, T45. T45. Um, you no, know, we had it dotted and we had a little bit of paint on it. But um, the only thing that really kept us from winning the best of show there was that we didn't do a total repaint, repaint. on that airplane. So we're so doing the total for Joe Nall. We're taking a total repaint airplane. We plan on doing if they have any scale competitions there. We plan on entering it with that A10. So, so. Um, I think it'll be fun. I have all the bombs and missiles and everything for the A10. The um, if you've ever seen it, I, I don't know if we're not going to do any kind of special bombs. stuff that the bombs release and all that stuff on it. We're, I almost wonder. We, haven't got, we haven't got enough time to do all that. To, and and you know, guys, I'm just not. Uh -huh. <laughs> P47 with I'd rather, big old bombs. I'd rather have a, a, an airplane that that uh, you know when they brought out the b24 that had the turning turrets that turn well okay i can't see those tur turrets turning in the air so okay it's really cool, cool though you know it's for each his own guys we're I, never going to say you shouldn't do it i mean customization. not to say it i mean it's up to each individual it's just not my thing put some rocket tubes on my p47 actually i have rocket tubes over there for it anyway uh that's just how it's been going lately, guys. We've been having a lot of fun, but like I said, we can't promise you every week we're going to have a brand new thing. We're trying, um, but doing two shows a week, I mean, we only have so many airplanes. So if you see it, we're, we're, we're trying. Um, it's just, to, you know, imagine imagine trying to buy an airplane every week, every week. That's basically what we're trying to go through right now. And here's my problem. I know Ryan likes to do it, but I don't like to sell my airplanes. I love my airplanes. <laughs> Everything I have, I like. Yeah. And if I didn't like it, I sold so, that. Yeah. But it's getting to where I have so many airplanes that I like, and I don't want to get rid of it. It's hard to part with them. Um, it's like this little P-47. You know, I don't fly it every time I go out there. But when I do fly it, I love it. Um, you know, and I have the FMS, the one that Ryan just did. Uh, what is it? The 1500 6S. I love it. But it's a 6S, and when I want to fly my 3S or my 4S specs, I grab this airplane. Um, and they're sure a whole lot cheaper to buy those. Uh, and I've often said, if I were to crash this airplane, I'm going to buy another one. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. but it, this is my There's a couple to, airplanes out there like that. I'm just going to buy another. If, if it, I'm kind of, I agree with Wesley. If it says E-Flight on it. You really can't go wrong. I have the E-Flight Spitfire. Phenomenal. 
phenomenal. If I had to pick between any of the Spitfires out there right now, and I knew I could only have one, and I wanted something that was going to last a long time and not have any problems out. I'd buy the E Flight 1200 millimeter Spitfire. The gear is strong on it. Um, it lands so easy. I mean, it comes in at a crawl. The one thing I will say, I only like that airplane on 4S. If you get it, you'll see as soon as you fly it on 3S, it's super mushy. Dad flew it. I did not like it. Some guys will fight me on that and say it doesn't look scale on 4S. I don't care. It flies it better flies to me on 4S. On 4S. Um, if you want it to fly more scale, there's that stick on this side scale pilot. Pull it back a little bit. It'll go the same speed as that 3S all day long. So, just a But while. when you need to get out of trouble, you can put it to the firewall and go straight up all day long. So I hate that excuse that it doesn't look scale on 4S. Slow it down. It'll go the same speed as it will on 3S. Use that other stick. You know, another thing we haven't talked about is that when it is windy... Our wind airplanes. Yeah, our windy day airplanes. Um, and we will. We still can. We need, I mean, we need to show people. Yeah, or what we fly whenever the wind out there. Doesn't just because mean you it's can't twenty fly. mile an hour wind doesn't mean you can't fly. It, you're going to have an interesting time. Those are good days for me. I love hovering airplanes. Yeah, and I, I love um, to drop the flag. Funny enough, I've flown this airplane in some really stupid winds. Um, as long as you can keep the nose in the wind, I fly that any time of the day, any day of the week in the wind. Yeah, no the, problem. And the runways down the wind. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mean, fly it in a twenty mile an hour crosswind. Cross wind, no. Um, not to say it couldn't be done. You could probably you could probably hover this airplane in a twenty mile an hour wind and land it straight down like that. But you know, guys, just because there's wind doesn't mean you can't go. You out can't there. go out you there just and fly. Need to change the airplane you're flying. You know, I'll say I have a timber, and when it's stupid windy outside, I'll grab my timber. They make three of them now, so dealer's choice. There's the regular timber, there's the turbo timber, there's the... Tim I flew the Timber X. I didn't like it as much as the regular timber. Um, I understand what the airplane was designed for, um, 3D and stuff, but the joy of my timber to me is going out on a windy day and just hovering around, and the Timber X just didn't seem like it was very good at the slow stole stuff. You know, it's great for mm, hanging it on the prop, and I could do rolling harriers all day with it and stuff, but it's just, it wasn't the same airplane I've fallen in love with my timber. Everybody out there will tell you, when I first got it, I didn't like it. And then when I quit trying to fly it like a 3D acrobatic airplane, and I started flying my timber like a stole plane, I fell in love with it. And I, and I that I've told him many a times, if I ever crashed that timber, I'd buy a new one. Probably buy a turbo timber now, but that didn't exist whenever I first got it. Well, and I have a Pandora that I have built in the high wing version of it, and it's not the the timber, but it it can fly like the timber and wind drop the flaps. It'll just sit there and hover, uh, just easy plane to land anywhere. So on approach RC, I, I see you're thinking about buying the Timber X. I'm not saying it's a bad airplane. That's not what I'm saying at all. I loved the Timber X. It's not the same as a regular Timber. If you're wanting to fly, if you've been flying a Timber and you want a more capable Timber, it's not that. It, it, it does not feel like the regular Timber at all. When I flew it, they're completely different airplanes. It feels a lot more like a like an extra 300, something like that. It, it rolls really fast where the old timber was real sluggish and slow. And then it was kind of forgiving when you got it slow that you could throw the flat. I mean, I had the aileron deflection on at 90 degrees and the thing would just kind of lumber still. Whereas that timber X, I mean, it's a, yeah. Um, it's a different airplane. Um, it's, it, it tips a lot easier. If you get it slow, trying to hover that airplane, it'll fall out. Whereas my big timber, I mean, you had to be going nothing before it would ever start to drop a wing. And even if it did drop a wing, it dropped about a foot and then went whoop, and got back into it. Whereas that timber X doesn't do that. And like I said, when I went to fly my timber, it looks like a bush plane. I want to fly like a bush plane. If I wanted a 3D plane, I would probably buy that new extra 300 from E-Flight. But, you know, this is my opinion, guys. I try and say this every time. Don't take what I'm saying as the gospel on what to buy or anything. Um, I'm just trying to tell you what my personal feelings are. But at the end of the day, it's your money. It's your love of the hobby. Buy what you want. Um, you could say, I hate that P-47. It's hideous. I'm not buying that. And then go buy the P-51. 
That's fine. Remember, at the end of the day, get what makes you happy, not what anybody else at the club cares about. All we're trying to do is try and help you make an educated decision on what to get. You know, the flight characteristics of P-47 is a whole lot different than the P-51. This is, oh, yeah. this, this airplane is more forgiving. Grass, and, if you got a grass field, the rake on this P-47, if you can forward. see, the gear are actually in front of the leading edge of the wing. If you yeah. want a grass field tail dragger, that is a good indication of an airplane that's going to take off and land easy in the grass. Another the other thing, thing is it has huge tires. Well, another thing is the, how wide it is on the landing yeah. gear here, guys. This is really the big forgiving part is how wide Because when you hit, is. you can hit way off kilter and it and still will bounce not straight back. the wing yeah. like you will a P-51 or, God forbid, a Spitfire. A Spitfire, or a yeah. ME-109 or, no, <laughs> yeah. Even good pilots have problems scraping the wings with the with the Spitfire and the 109s. Everybody knows that one. Yeah. So, um, you know, I've been wanting a 109 for a long time. I really do want one, and I've had my eyes on that FMS one for years and just never pulled the trigger. The other one I've always wanted is that free wing, or not free wing, uh, whatever it's called. Flightline has the BF 109 on there. I've always liked that airplane. Um, but it's just... <sighs> There's so many airplanes, and it's hard to get them all. And, and I love that other German plane that's on flight line with the long elliptical wing. Um, ME-262? No, no, no. It's a it's a prop airplane. Oh, I can't oh, remember what oh, it's called, it, though. Is it a hybrid of the it was FW-190? Like, yeah, yeah. I can't remember I the name of it. Somebody in the over. comment knows which one I'm talking about. Nose. It's green. It's it was a, long. It, it had a long it's elliptical FW-190 wing. It's an with a long... Long the TA-152, yeah. maybe that's okay. it. It's a German plane. I think that's right. Anyway, I've always really liked that. Somebody said Stuka. I actually, we already have we a, Stuka. a Stuka. And, and you um, know something, guys? Stuka's, Stuka's a good airplane. Really good. As long as you don't stall it when you're landing you that like airplane, it, roll. it doesn't roll very well. It don't roll. It we have the stalls. FMS Stuka. We've flown up a bunch of it. Um, it, it. As long as you don't reverse the throttle channel and fly it into your wall, it's a great airplane. I but, might have had that issue though. But the but those old barn. But we do have later. it. We can fly it again. Yeah, we and we'll do again. a video of it, guys. We have the Stuka. We lost um, one of the guns off of it. Yeah, well, we were flying it one day and one of the guns just fell off, fell went off. out in the pond, and we've never found it. There's actually a pond at our RC field. You anybody can't see got it any in the extra videos. Stuka? Uh, yeah, anybody out there have an extra FMS Stuka gun pod? Gun we pod. could really use one. One, yeah. If you if you crashed yours and all you got is parts left, let me know. But uh, we, we like it. Yeah, if, if you've been thinking, if you can find one of those. Gosh, I remember when we first started back into the hobby. That was one of your first. They were I everywhere. Learned. I picked that up for 100 bucks in Tampa. Some guy had it for sale, and oh, it's barely used. And we flew it a little bit, and Dad was... I, I was tried just it brand new. Jumping. I mean, I was I was still flying that uh, uh, that GMS. Thing. And and the more he's got comfortable, he flies it fine now. And that yeah. that airplane flies great. The, the biggest thing you got to remember: you land it a little hot. You don't get it slow. It lands right on the mains in the grass. And it wants to tip stall. Oh yeah! If you stall that airplane, Ooh. it does not forgive. It'll it'll it'll, it'll, it'll in a hurry in a heartbeat because of those sharp ass wings out there. It'll you, you'll be going along, and all of a sudden it'll it'll tip stall on you. So just the characteristics. Of Kevin the says ME two sixty two. I'd love to have an ME two sixty two. We both talked about that. If we were to get another jet, we might buy one of those. Yeah. We don't know it, what we, we want right I seen now. I one of them flying. It was. It looked really neat. It, it's big. It, but it is one of those planes you have to reinforce the nose on. That was yeah, the first that was the that first thing said. the guy said. I've had two of them. The yeah. first one, the nose fell off of it. Yep. So, um, so yeah. reinforce it with some carbon spars. You don't have the nose. issue. Yeah, you. But yeah, I, I've watched that plane fly. It flies phenomenal. Really okay, like so that. Yeah, if anybody's got the extra Stuka gun, we really would like to have it. We it just fell off one day and went right in the pond. We don't know what happened to it. All I need is the gun pod. The actual part we need is the foam part. We actually have a new gun too, but we don't have the little foam part that clips into the wing. So, and I like to fly. I like to fly it with the pods. Yeah, we always left the pods on. I always wanted to put Nerf whistles on the bottom of the Stuka to see if you could hear it go when it was diving. You know the. Noise. I thought it'd be kind of cool, but we just never did it. 
Somebody's going to check right now. He thinks he has a set. Hey, right. cool. If you do, we'll right. pay for it. We'd like to have a set of those. Put, put them in the mail. I'll, I'll um, give you my address. We'll send you some stickers for it. Yeah, something, anything. Uh, I, you know, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I know everybody says you can't have enough airplanes, but I guess right now I'm kind yeah, of holding uh, out. We're, we're holding out right now. I think there's going to be some more airplanes coming out this year that, um, me and him will enjoy more than what is currently out. It's yeah, the who best wants way to... another coarse hair? Damn. <laughs> I mean, four <laughs> coarse in a year? Yeah. Somebody we're we're coarse aired out at the boozers right now. No offense to anybody. Sorry, I mean, every, hey, there's definitely hair. one out there for everybody now, but um, he's got one. I've got one. We've got enough coarse hairs right now. Sorry. Uh, I think it's Dennis Farley. No, it's who is it that always has all the yeah, course yeah, hairs? I'm sorry. Got eight Darn it. Hang on. Last Dennis time, Farley. Yeah, he's got the, the, eight the eight course hairs. Okay. Well, hey. I understand. I've, 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 I mean, everybody loves the gold wing. Uh, you know, I, I've, airplane, I've known a lot of guys are the same way with P50. But I'm just saying, enough. manufacturers, my God, can't you think of something other than a course air? I want an OV10 Bronco. Oh, yeah. Somebody make the OV10. We're screaming OB, for it in all these chat rooms. I want an OV10 that takes two huh? cells, 5,000. Was it Dave? Dave Kowalski has yeah. eight Corsairs. Sorry. Clear that up. I've, Somebody has them. I've even looked at a, 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 an OV10 Bronco. They used to make a wood hmm. kit. I found one the other day on eBay or something. They wanted like $500. Right. And I'm going, Psh. and I had to build it. And I know I'm George going, oh. George Baker picked one up at Joe Nall this year. And I think if, if we're lucky... We're going to have our eyes out when we're at Joe Nolan. We may find a big OV-10 there. Because there's anything and everything you can think of yeah. at Joe Nolan. is the Maybe. candy store of airplanes. I bought uh, an FMS B-25 last year for you for, what, 100 bucks? Yep. Brand new. I mean, brand new. It needed a nose retract servo in it, but the airframe didn't have a scratch on it for 100 bucks. Yep. I mean, anything you can think of out there. I went down to the float line, and there was guys pulling them out of the water getting done flying and saying, all right, who wants to buy this? I can go buy something else. You know, it was just amazing. People were swapping airplanes out there left and right for other stuff. And it, if you've never been to Joe Nall, it is amazing. And I highly recommend going um, if you can. I just like to have something a little bit more out of the box. Right. I'd like, I'm ready for a manufacturer to do something different. You know, I've had P47, had the T28s now, I've had the F16, I've had the F15. You know, I've never had one of those King Cobras or Cobras. Yeah. That, that the E flight, I would say that I might look at that. The, the, Which the, one? The E flight P39. P39, yeah. I like the P38. I mean, P39. A lot of guys came out and yeah, yeah. I was like, man, you never see them. Never FMS see. did one yeah. once, but it was a 980 millimeter. Yeah. Which is the same size as that little tiny. thing. It's tiny and it's eh. but but but, but uh, a P thirty nine and the this size. Yeah, this it's this exact same size as these. So if it it's something different, like this, I would love it. And it is a tricycle gear airplane. Hell Rofner, I would agree. A Black Widow P sixty one, I would love one. Dynam had one, and it was garbage. So, yeah. um, so close, but so far, that's one of my absolute favorite airplanes. Grew up with one on the wall, on the ceiling. I had a model kit of it. Um, I'd love to see hey, that airplane. You know, I'd like Same to thing see... with the Gloucester Meteor that Dynam just released. I would have loved it, but it's Dynam and it's junk. I would like to see Howard Hughes, some of Howard Hughes, not the Spruce Goose. But maybe I... the racer would have been cool. Somebody do a foam uh, kit of the Howard Hughes racer would be awesome. And We're going to go on a whole tangent now about what should come out. Howard Hughes had was in the process of doing a twin engine, like a B-26, mm -hmm. and it and it was a really cool looking airplane, and it was almost going to be in production. And I, you know, somebody like I'd like somebody to bring that. Right, out. I'm ready for some people, somebody to jump off and and be the one. And I hope and I'm really hoping it's Arrows. I really am hoping that Arrows is going to come out with some new stuff. Um, a Sky Raider, uh, yeah, yeah, would be a cool one. Sky some if they buy the mold from Hobby King and re-release the Sky Raider in the 1100 millimeter size. I'd buy one in a heartbeat. Yeah. I'd love a Sky Raider. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just want somebody to build something different. We've seen the Corsair. We've seen the P-51. I mean, they're done to death now. Let's get something new. There was a large Sky Raider over on Banana or somebody yeah, like that built one. They had Banana. one, and Hobby King had a really good one. Lori's got us a question. I've got a 1.2 meter A1 Sky Raider. 
Yep. Yeah, that's there what I'm go. saying. Right a 1200 sky right meter, sky any of that. Yeah. I'd love a sky raider, guys. Yep. Be a great plane. Love it. Not He's saying team. HSD. HSD might have one. I haven't looked at it. I really haven't looked too much at HSD. I got um, kind of introduced to him through Ryan. And then when we went to the Jet Fest, I got introduced to, uh, not Andy. It was, what was the guy's name that we met? At? No, it wasn't Jonathan either. Sean, Sean. We met Sean when we were at the Jet uh, Show here in Florida, and we got to see the HSD F-16. Um, I love their products. If they're making a uh, Sky Raider, I'm going to be all over that. Um, they have released one. Well, we'll have to get on and look at it. Is it big, Ryan, or is it a 1200? 1600. Ooh. 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 Might have to look at that one. Well, you might have piqued our interest you into something we actually want. The other be. thing I would maybe oh. consider another P-51 would be if FMS does the 1700 as a re-release, six cell, new upgraded stuff. Same thing. If FMS brings back a 1700 millimeter P-47, I would have one more P-47. Yeah, yeah I want a big P-47. Yeah, if they come out with a Carbon with a Z size airplanes again, if if FMS does the 1,700-millimeter P-47 this year, I would buy another P-47. Otherwise, I think I'm done P-47. Laurie's got a question for us. Al Rooker says, just kidding, but how about the flyable version of the Rebel Flapjack? What the heck? Is that the, the like, yellow thing with the two motors on it? Was that the flapjack, Hal? That had an actual name. You got me on that No, one. no, no, no. It looked like a big pancake. And it had the two motors on the ends of it with the oh, big props. Oh, is that what that's called? I think that was called the flapjack, wasn't it? It had the cockpit in the middle, and it looked like a big pancake with two was? tails on the back. You got me. Like yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that was two, it. It had the it two, had two big two, main two, yeah. wheels. Yeah, yeah, and it looked like a saucer. Yep, yeah, looked like a big flying saucer. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's saying, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That'd be a neat airplane. I don't know how stable it would be. Um, it may it'd probably fly like a flying wing because you'd have uh, flapper ons on it. You know what I wanted to bring back? A big zero. No. A 1700 millimeter zero yeah, would get us interested in too. Uh, yeah, a big zero, six cell, 5000 zero would be okay. I'll mm -hmm. do that. And or I would like to have the T28 Carbon Z, but pimped out. Oh, yeah. If they would re release the T28 Carbon Z, I guarantee you they'd sell tons of these, but have this the sequenced nose wheel gear doors and the and the actual tra uh, suspension, everything. Yep, yep. Lights. Real nice. Real nice, nice cockpit in it. Everything E flight goes crazy on one. Six hundred bucks. Call it their super scale T twenty eight, same size and everything, but I just mean, scale cockpit and everything. Yeah, six hundred bucks. Buy them all day long. Yeah, I would. They they they'd sell like hotcakes. Now I know we're taking you on another path again, but yeah, I mean this is yeah, just kind of what we're thinking. I mean, I, I, big zero would be great, Ryan. I would I'd, like, I'd like to see a big zero. I'd like to see a big Emmy one hundred and nine. I know they're not for everybody, but I'd love to see one. I've never seen a big foam well, Emmy one. I'm going to go back to this. When I was flying quarter scale, and I'm going to set. We've already mentioned the two planes that that P forty seven or the zero or that. Oh well, or I put a zero in there. You know why uh, I put the zero in it? Hellcat would be a good one too. Well, yeah, okay, any of those, but anything that's got the wide gear, like wide this, gear. Uh, it's going to be a great large airplane as far as landing, landing taking, taking off, taking ground off. handling. Now, I would love to see an ME-109, but they are not for the faint of heart when it comes to landing or taking off. If you put a gyro in it, they're not bad. You ask Ryan. I know he's been down there. Without a gyro, they can be a, oh my God, what am I flying? It is a, I would, uh, you know, like I say, when I built my first quarter scale wood airplane it was between the p47 and the zero and there was enough p47s out there so i went with the zero and i did not regret it chris jackson they said he says the t28 was taken away from us too soon the big one i, I will too. say it was out for about five years was it but what i really think they are getting ready to do with that big carbon z i think they're going to re-release it with the upgraded pin, everything everything hopefully because the are. biggest complaint i ever heard with that was the retracts were junk in it they're not bad. That's what everybody used to say. They they would snap or whatever. And and I I don't like them either. The wire strut. 
on a big airplane like that, I want suspension struts on it. Well, it seems like, you know, the, the, the wire gear is really... You can see them going... Oh, 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 oh. And, then, and then you can see it kind of giving in the foam when right. when they really get hit. They, you can see you're going, I, when is that going to rip out of the foam? Everywhere I go, though, they were still selling those things. So I just can't see them taking them away and not bringing them back with some upgrades to them. And, and I really feel... My, I don't know. I couldn't tell you from one to the other. I'm not connected to Horizon Hobby in any way. But if I had to guess, what they're going to do is re-release that airplane with some upgraded scale details to it, and they're going to add a hundred, two hundred bucks to you it. You know what I'd like to also see in the D28. Uh, I want the, I want the sound. Oh yeah, a sound system. Well, a we sound can always system. put it in yours. But I can't get over the price of that. I know a hundred dollars. Are you kidding? I, that's another thing to me too. The the Mister RC sound make a kit for forty bucks that we can get a speaker, a thing, and put it in our airplane. I mean, and I, you will sell them like hotcakes, Motion RC. But a hundred dollars. Are you kidding? No, no, I just can't get there. I'm sorry. I can't get there either. That's the only reason I've never had one. Um, our friend Kevin's going to let us borrow his P-51 that has one in it just so we can play with one. He's got a P-51 with it in I've, it. I've never I'd like to see it. I'd like to hear it. I've never been around an airplane that has a sound system in it, and he has one. We're going to play with it. We'll try and video it as best as we can. By the way, in our new videos, guys... I do apologize. We have that new setup with our microphone setting right in front of me. Hopefully, y'all can hear us really loud and clear in our videos. What I did not realize is whenever I have the transmitter in my head next to the microphone, it goes, hmm. So whenever I'm flying, if I go by, I go like this, you hear, hmm. And I didn't realize it was doing it, and we filmed three videos in the same day. So I apologize for that. I know you can hear me talking a lot better but I want to clear that up. If you hear that when I'm flying, it's the radio interfering with, with the microphone being right in front of me. And I was trying to get it to where you can hear me good because that was everybody's complaint was always the sound on the Boozers channel. How's it going again? Hmm. Hmm. I noticed it the other day. Yeah. I don't know what it and was. That, what that is is the radio actually passing. I guess it's the, the way this works is it has a circularized thing. So straight out from it is, is a dead zone. And then all around it, there's waves going out of these. So actually, if you're flying, you never want to point your antenna straight at the airplane. That's actually the dead spot of this radio. Anywhere else, you're good. But anyway, I think when I was doing this, it's the something to do with the microphone. It was making me go, hmm, hmm. Just your Star Wars sound effects. Yep. Everybody <laughs> likes the TIE Fighter. Any more questions? No, no questions. No questions. Sound effects down Nobody, there. Everybody agrees with us? I mean, they, what? They just kind of want to hear Wesley's sound effects again. <laughs> Some more sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make... <laughs> no, that was good. No, but, guys, are y'all at least enjoying the show? I mean, you've got to be. We've had 30 guys in here tonight. I, I really hope y'all are getting something out of the content we're making for you. Uh, we really have been trying hard at the show to, to bring the quality to a better level. Um, we're hardwired now. We have 200 meg internet. We've got a new camera up there that's not disconnecting. We've got a great stage One light. One bright light. Yeah. What you can't it. see on your end is there is a light over there that is like a collapsed star blinding me and him the whole time. this way most of the time is because I'm not trying to look at that blasted light. That thing. Um, and if y'all see me looking at the table every once in a while, I have all of you guys right here to where I can see the comment section while the video is going. And that's how I keep up. You know, Lori's sitting off to the side running the computer end of it, um, and she watches the comments. But, you know, I like to kind of see what's going on down there, too. Um, hey, you know. Have I mentioned the shirts tonight? Hey, yeah. Have hey, we mentioned hey, our hey, T-shirts hey, tonight? Hey, hey. You need to go out there and buy one of hey. these. You know what else you got to have on Easter? Green pants. Green pants. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, whoa. If you don't want a woman, get yep. a patch. If you don't want a woman, get you a patch. <laughs> Women out there, patches <laughs> out there, go buy something, guys. We'd love to buy a new airplane. Uh, it looks like scrubs. Scrub, oh, scrubs. Yeah, yeah, green scrubs. They're actually uh, golfing pants, but I wore them to church today. I was all greened out today for Easter. I have all my floral colors on, but. I yeah, did not wear my boozer yeah. shirt to church. But, I, uh, I got to see the sunrise this morning. Yeah, he went to sunrise. Sir. 
So, <laughs> holy crap, it's a leprechaun. Yeah, it's a leprechaun. not not to, he is risen, just so you know. Sorry if anybody's not a Christian doesn't like any of that, but sorry, you're gonna get it on our channel too. We're not trying to be political, but yeah, it's we what believe. we believe in. We so, believe. anyway, happy Easter to yeah, everybody. If we Easter. didn't say it tonight, yeah. sorry. Hope you're having a great Easter weekend. We 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 actually had lobster tonight. Yeah, we our tradition is we have lobster on all the holidays. So we have lobster on Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas always. So that's our Florida tradition. Ever yep. since we were transplanted from Texas to yep. Florida, we always have lobster, lobster on our three yeah. major holidays yeah. instead of anything else. So, and I'll tell you, lobster is a whole lot easier to prepare than a Thanksgiving yeah, dinner. Yeah. Well, last year you we stick them that. in the oven, you cook yeah. them for five, ten minutes, pull them out, and then you're ready to eat. And then Pretty every so. we get them big old lobsters for twenty bucks a tail, and man, they feed you like you wouldn't believe. But uh, so, you know, we, hey, we, we had a great, great Easter. Meow. Cat's over here staring me down. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. He's running away now. I thought he was going to come up here with me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show. We've been going almost an hour and 30. We love you stopping by. Like I said, every week we're going to try and keep bringing you new content. Um, we can't always promise we're going to have the newest, latest, and greatest airplanes just because like I said, self-funded. Uh, we haven't hit, you know, our first subscriber thing to where we can, well, what is it? we need to hit a thousand subscribers before we can even have money coming in from YouTube. So, um, you know, we can only do what we can afford. If you can buy a shirt from us, we really appreciate it. Uh, Lori, is there a link in the video description right now? Not yet, but there will be. If anybody has the link, Dave Kowiski, anybody drop a link to the Mary Boozer Teespring store. Sorry. Um, we really appreciate it if you go in and buy a shirt from us, guys. That's all what you, helps us uh, keep airplanes in the hobby. Hanger rats that's out there need to buy one shirt and help Papa take it to the field and, and show them to everybody. See them and let's see what happens. That's, that's right. what I'm asking you guys yeah. to do. We, we don't mean if to you, hound you guys every week, but it really does help us a to lot. Us to keep this going, do that. Might go out and buy you a t shirt, and uh, you, you'd be. You know, yeah, and help support favorite. Ryan. Buy that monkey pants shirt. Yep. Dad designed yep. that. He he sat here and did it yep. with Lori. Everybody, and, everybody in the yeah. the. the uh, if you want Ryan something Pratt. that's kind of between both of us, that's kind of a yep. fun one. That was yep. a collaboration of both we channels do not together. Have hats yet, though. We do not have hats yet. We will possibly be doing them. We're also working on trying to do stickers right now for nose art. It's just a matter of me and Lori sitting here and getting them done. Um, but, you know, me and Lori have full-time jobs. Somebody uh, actually asked on this channel if we're going to have the leather patches at Joe Nall. Yeah, so somebody I was asking so. earlier, we're going to take, yeah, we'll bring all our leather patches to Joe Nall. If there's something you can't live without, let us know. We'll work out a price for you guys. Um, I'm going to tell you, we're not going to, we're not giving them away by any means. I'm sorry. Um, they're they're going to be anywhere from 100 to probably $200. Um, the dog just knocked something over you about <laughs> died over there and, <laughs> and, I, and i will tell you you can you can find places that are cheaper um but, but it's for the time it takes us to make them and they're the originals there's not going to be any more um you're going to get the one of one if you do buy it so it's well, kind of not, well we're not going to say there won't one. be another one but there's not well, going right to be now, no hundred of them out multiples. there multiples if, if i have one of those patches you're going to buy the original patch that you've seen me uh, on the show, you're gonna get one from the show. I have reproduced one, two, two patches. One PD2, and then Ryan's got a duplicate of, of the, the flying tigers. Flying tigers. Um, but it's not gonna be like, oh, there's 300 of them out there. You're gonna have yeah, one of yeah. three. Yeah. You know. So right now, Lori's I mean, got I'll, another question I'll for us. I'll sell as many as people want to buy, but uh, they're just not running and, and jumping to get them. Dennis Farley says he will be wearing one of our shirts at Nephew. Sweet. Greg Dennis Farley. Sweet. Rock man. Dennis, send us, rock a, man. send us a picture of you wearing your shirt on Facebook. I know you're a friend of mine on there. We want to see you guys that get your shirts. Send us pictures on Facebook in the Pilot Lounge. You can always copy me on the Pilot Lounge if you put a post. Say Mary Boozer RC, whatever. Wesley Miller, you can post it either way. Well, we want to see you guys wearing your shirts. Dave. 
Uh, Dave's RC, his latest video, he had the Memphis Bell shirt on him. We watched this whole video. Going, Man, look at Dave in his new shirt. It looks great. I, I, you know, I was proud. I it, really yeah, like, we're I, proud to I, see I, it. Something you know, that we've done that somebody, that somebody else, else is enjoying. enjoying. Yeah, that's what I'm really getting a kick out of. That's what I wanted. I thought, I thought uh, that, that this would go along real well. with The, the one thing I have learned. Is I am not patient enough to wait for these things to come in. I am going to pay the three dollars extra next yeah. time I order a shirt yeah. because I ordered shirts almost a month, five days ago. I looked yeah. it up. They take forever if you don't pay the extra three bucks. Do you pay the extra three bucks? You get them in like five yeah, I, days. I, I, I get. I don't know if, if they started making selling ten thousand of them. I guess I get them. A yeah, little I don't know. Faster, but but right now, just as a fair warning, if you don't pay the extra fee, it takes forever. And, it, and it's right at the end. Where you pay in the postage, it'll say it'll read the when you're checking out, it will say tell you that. Yes. So a question for Papa is huh? will you make your patches into an eye patch yarn? Yarn. <laughs> eye patch. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of painting with one. Yarn. Other, like, yeah. I got my booby patch. <laughs> We be looking for all your buried treasure. And and now Wes, you know where gonna, any good booty is around gonna, here. We'll talk about this again. We said it the first of this, but let's talk about it again. But Wesley's got a friend that maybe will I've got a friend that has a graphic design shop, and I need to talk to him if I can get him to make some of the girls that Lori has already got designed in the computer. If I can get him to print them out before Joe Nall, I will try and bring the girls without the boozers on it, just for your front of your airplanes. If I can yeah, but, get I can't promise them right now, but get them printed small enough to be on the front. You know, you she'd look your, good on the front of your P-47 instead of a Mr. Hangy, wouldn't she? Except I may, if I can get him to, I may get some of the more risque, risque girls if I've got them where they're not getting shown. Oh, man, could you imagine her on the front of that airplane without the blue tape? Woo! Yep, 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 yep. A lot of, a lot of good stuff. So it'd be good. Any of those, I mean, just to show you, they'd make really good nose arts on your warbird, so that could be fun. If I can get him to print them and his wife not kill him. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, something like that. You know, Smaller. Right. One of those girls up on the nose would look really cool, though. Um, so if I can get him to print them and his wife not kill him over printing all these naked ladies... Um, but we have I'd had like some to. requests for right. the the nose art for the airplane. You know, so you know, sticker that you put on your airplane, and I don't. We're gonna if if you guys want them, we're gonna try to. Get you know, them we're gonna them. put them on Teesprings, but I also understand that everybody doesn't want to pay five dollars a sticker for them. Yeah, I right. understand yeah, that completely. Yeah. And then they also have the white outline on them when you print them on there because it's a die cut. Whereas if I can get my friend who has a custom decal shop to print them, they'll be. A decal. They won't have any white outline on them to look just like any of the stuff that comes and, on your airplanes. We, we're only going to have. You know, I'm not going to bring no three thousand of them or anything. If I make it, you're going to get probably five of each girl, gonna, and that's yeah, going to be it. And, and we're only going to have uh, a handful, and I'm going to have only three designs because that's right. all we've got. Done. And I'm going to bring. I think it's three hundred of the Mary Boozer stickers. When they're gone, they're gone, guys. But I'll give one out to every one of you that comes and meets us. We yeah, love it. Yeah, we want to um, meet you guys. We want to meet you. We, we 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 think we know everybody by name. We'd like to put a face. Yeah, it'd be name. cool. You know, a lot of you guys that have been watching us, come see us. We want to meet you in person. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go on and call this a night. It's been exactly an hour and thirty minutes. An hour and thirty minutes. We're going to go on and sign off tonight. I, I'm not going to be breaking records like Ryan. He had a almost three hour show. Yeah. I was trying. I was hanging in there, man. But uh, we've had a wonderful time, guys. We hope you enjoyed the Boozers content. We are glad to see we finally have um, our internet and everything kind of jiving with us tonight. We didn't have any issues for the second week in a row. Last week, we had an issue with it not starting. But once it got up, I don't think we have an issue with the actual broadcasting now. And it's staying up. So how I many think we finally have we been doing it. this now? Seven? I'd have to go back and look now, but it's we've been doing it quite a while now. I mean, well, but that ain't very long. We well, it surprises me years. how long it's been and how short it feels. It feels like we just started it yesterday, but I mean, we've been going for quite a while now. So thank you for our bumpy journey that you followed us on. If you've been with us from the beginning, I know that the channel has slow growth to it, but it's been, um, it's been fun guys. And we really enjoy it. 
like I said, we're for almost to our first milestone of 500 subscribers, and then we'll be going to a thousand. And at a thousand, we'll probably end up giving something bigger away, maybe some patches, maybe. We'll see. We'll we'll be celebrating a thousand big. No, so uh, one thing I am going to mention is that uh, here in a short period of time, Papa's not going to be around right. for a while. There's going to be a, a month or two in there where there's not going to well, be any Papa around June for a while. June and July, I will not be here. I will be on an extended. My wife is actually finally retired. They're going to both be retired this year. And we are going on a long trip in our RV with two other couples all the way up the eastern seaboard, all the way to Maine, and then back. And uh, so well, well deserved for my wife. Uh, we hope we're going to have a good time, but you're not going to see me. But I'll still be keeping the show going, and Dad will probably be checking into us. You'll know when it's him. He'll be in here, Papa Boozer. Oh, sure. I'll, He'll I'll be, be in the show and the in the content with you. Sure. Um, we'll still be trying to do everything on Sunday nights from our show. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's how it that's goes. It. Anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. It's been a fun time tonight. Let's let's go on and sign off. I need to come up with some kind of catchphrase for you guys. You know, Ryan's got stick of monkey pants. i got to come up with something. If y'all think of something cool for the boozers, I don't know. Boozer yeah, boozer. We, we, we've been boozing with the boozers. Well, I got, got something. I mean, I've got several names now. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, Papa, he's got some funny names well, I got, now. I, got, but I, got, I, I want Papa Boozer, Papa Dots, and now Papa, Papa Boober Boobs. now. Yeah, he got Papa that the Boobs. other night. He's Papa Boobs now, Papa uh, Boober. So I'm getting quite a few uh, catch names. But anyway, guys, it's been a lot of fun. Let's let's let y'all go. Yeah. So we'll see y'all later. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Bye, Bye guys. guys. We had a lot of fun.